Welcome to part two of this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and install the ignition device on the combustion chamber. First, we're going to take this AM flame lighter and we're going to take it apart and get the clicking device that makes the click, the spark, jump between the two wires. And that's what we're going to use for our ignition device. Here's the gold that we're looking for right here. This is this is the pay dirt. You can see this. This is the ignition switch, which is a piece of metal with wires on it that you can click and spark. And if I clicked it right now, it would shock me because this metal is exposed. So that's where the electrical tape comes in to play. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the entire bottom in electrical tape so that it won't shock uh, whoever's trying to click the, the ignition switch. Well, there we go. Now that that has been made, we're going to go ahead and take our combustion chamber right here. We're going to take a drill. Just a simple cordless drill, and we're going to go ahead and drill a small hole in the middle of the combustion chamber. There we go. Now, we have our small hole here. We can go ahead and insert the end of our ignition device into the hole. And make sure that the hole is nice and small, just small enough for these two wires to get through so that it's nice and tight. Then we want to make sure and look in the pipe itself and make sure that the wires aren't touching. But there's just enough space in between them. To make the spark jump. We're going to go ahead and um, lay some tape down over the opening. strips. Now once we have it uh, taped down like that, we're going to go ahead and take uh, some of the PVC glue Go ahead and seal the, the area around the tape so that it has an extra tight seal. Okay, and then we're just going to let this dry. Just like we would any of the other PVC pieces, we're going to let it dry overnight just to be extra safe. And uh, that's pretty much it for the ignition switch.